Second. Oh, morning, my name is Rolls. Rolls. I'm just, a just. graduating senior in building construction management here. I'm going to introduce the Leica 1205 smart station that we have. It's a combination instrument. It uses the 1205 robotic total station. The handle that's currently on it allows it to be the smart station. And then it also uses the smart pole, which is a combination 360 prism and GPS sensor. Uh, for more on the GPS, refer to Nick Slauson's GPS videos. Um, this handle actually comes on and off. We had difficulty right before we set this up with the handle working, so you just click these two black buttons on the handle right here to take it on or off. And then if you want to switch handles, so you have a normal robot, you just take the Viva handle off, put the regular handle on, and it's simple as that. So. If you have problems with the radio not working, just try pulling it off, putting it back on. And that's as simple as that. Um, setting up the total stations, like any other total station, you get the tripod out, get it set up to show the plummet, get the plummet on point, and then level the instrument, and refine your leveling until you're on point and level. So pretty close to point right now, just slide the instrument, level it up, and that's about it. Now this thing graduated out to the ten thousandth of a degree, so if you're within a couple ten thousandths, don't worry about it. And then you just press F1 to continue once you're plumb. Then you take this. This is this controller is the GS15 controller. It allows you to connect to both the GPS and the smart station itself. It's almost idiot proof, really, how simple it is. You just press the power button, turns on. Takes a while to do that. Things what the while it's turned on the Controller's Windows based, so it's like a little computer. You can put a jump drive, a flash card, a compact flash card, a camera card in here, put data onto or off of the controller. It's got about three quarters of a gig of internal memory, so we have more room on this for survey jobs than we'll probably ever be able to use. And once it turns on, you get the Windows screen, and then it immediately boots up the SmartWorks program. It would allow you to use the smart station and the GPS. Uh, to good way to know the ra if the radio handle is working is you'll see these lights up here light up as the uh, controller connects to it. So you just tell it to use both the GPS and the, the GPS and the total station, and it'll tell you you're connected. So you press next. Uh, first instrument you measure with the total station, you could measure with the GPS first, but if you start using the GPS, then you have geodetic coordinates for everything, and that makes it kind of hard to transfer the file if you have to go between different setups or you have to set, set up one file and move to a different location. So starting out with the TPS gives you local coordinates that can be translate, trans, transposed anywhere. And then you hit next, and you can check the plummet again, and we're thousandth of a degree to the top and a thousandth of a six thousand six ten thousandths of a degree to the left for all intents and purposes that's perfect uh, this next screens atmospheric corrections you can mess with those if you want to but you can also skip it and have no ill effect to the total station at all that's just for the laser compensation when you do EDM distances um, you can either continue with the job you selected create a new job or choose a job from the file and I'm just going to set this up as a demo because it's kind of giving an idea of how this thing works not trying to tell you how to use it for say survey or stakeout there is a PowerPoint on that though if you want to learn more about that so you just press next okay this little blue light down here tells me I'm connected by Bluetooth to the GPS controller GPS sensor and then up here where it shows the total station with a little blinky lightning bolt that's pulsating that tells me I'm connected to the internal radio on the handle. 
Now you can also connect to the total station by Bluetooth if you want to. So you go to instrument, uh, con connect to the instrument, uh, TPS connect wizard. It's uh, you choose the instrument manufacturer. It's like a, it's a 12, TPS 1200 series. Connect using internal radio, Bluetooth, or cable. So if you want to do Bluetooth, you hit Bluetooth and hit next. Then you hit search. And the only Bluetooth it's picking up right now is the GS sensor. So used to work by Bluetooth, but apparently it does not now. Which is fine because Bluetooth is only good for about 30 feet, which is you probably asking why I use the Bluetooth with the GPS controller. Well, the GPS sensor and this are probably never more than five feet apart ever because you're going to have this on the pole while you're walking around with it, so having Bluetooth connection to the GPS sensor is fine. But you'll want to be connected by the internal radio and the total station because you're probably going to be several hundred or thousand feet away from it. So the internal radio is good out to, I think they said a kilometer, which is the range of the instrument and reflectorless anyway. So you just hit next. Link number three, set as remote. Um, we also have the option to set it as a base because the smart station does allow for their, allow for a GPS sensor to be placed on top of this handle, but we currently don't have that function up and running yet. If you had the smart station as a base, then you could use it as a ground point with that mushroom that allow for poor man's ground corrections. It wouldn't be the greatest, but hey, if you have a really flat lot and you just need to get some quick shots on it, that's not too bad. So you set it up as remote, hit next. It says searching, and then it does its little wait thing. Connected to total station. And it says connected to total station, you just hit finish. And it t does its little wait thing again. Connected to total station. And then that's it. So once you're here, you d just hit go to work. And you can let, select from setup, which would allow you to set the gun up. And in setup, you uh, can do either set orientation, um, known back sight, multiple back sights, transfer height, resection, orientate the line. So more, more features here than even I know how to use. Um, since this is the, we're using the total station first, I choose to set the orientation. And what that does is it sets zero and angle right on the gun, and then I tell it I'm at a known back sight, and that gives the gun its orientation and its coordinates, and then from there you can start turning angles, measuring, doing everything you want. So, simple as that. Um, this little star key right here is going to be the best thing you have ever had for this controller because it allows you to automatically access all your functions for continuous measure, target lock, power searches right and left, auto aiming, and even more. There's a lot more back here than I even knew about. We even have a camera, so you just hit power search right, the gun will turn right looking for the prism. And I have it set to like a 360 prism right now, so that's all it's looking for. And then it says lock to target. You'll see this little icon up here in the left corner. It says, as a master lock, it'll be a lock. So you're locked to target, then you set orientation, all that. If you want to switch between the gun and the GPS while you're doing this, you just press where the gun is. And now it tells you I'm connected to the GPS sensor by Bluetooth. This satellite says that I should be getting 13 overhead satellites. This Sigma, at the Sigma symbol here would be the number of satellites I'm connected to. This G symbol here would be the number that I'm supposed to be connected to. This radio with the lightning bolt that's not pulsating would be whether or not you're connected to the ground station.